Hello, welcome back to my let's play of Galactic Civilizations 2, Twilight of the Arnor. And we're in the process of uh, getting rid of the Torians. Uh, last four planets of theirs, we're probably gonna beat that. And, um, oh yeah, of course we're still dealing with the Iconians as well, but it looks like um, we're gonna culture bomb them away. And, yeah, screw this, I'm gonna invade with tidal disruptors. And we win. That's another planet down. I don't even know which one that was. And we're still researching hyperwarp for whatever reason. And uh, actually, that was a really good research world. You guys noticed that the Thalans are actually the second most powerful Civ? They've been the weak Civ all game. Now they're in second place. Go Thalans. <laughs> Alright, looks like they're still... Um, Quite a few uh, Thorians left on these. Well defended by the look of it, yep. And uh, apparently one of my brave auto-attacking ships is going to try and kill that. And we'll see how that goes. And meanwhile, I'm just going to send some troop transports on their way. And I don't care if I'm gutting Earth's population now, uh, not in the least. And uh, you can build constructors, I don't care. and Just go to uh, that place. Right, that's two more, and we'll send you to a newly conquered territory. So, who else is building troop transports? Let's see. Drenji, Altaria. Altaria's probably got a whole bunch stacked up by now. Where is Altaria? Where are you? Uh, let's see. Wisp and Altaria. There they are. Yep. Well, two. Two will do. These will probably... Uh, the last wave anyway. And, uh, well, yeah, we'll uh, throw in some turns. Yeah, it takes a while now because, um, in the last episode we had a little event and everybody got hyper sensors which uh, means uh, the whole map is now pretty much visible to everyone which means all the ships that move are shown that's nah, not too much of a problem to be honest yes upgrade it even further sure let's just max out this guy hey there's no need for that that's hyper warp Alright, that's Dester. That's the Iconians. And we didn't kill them. We did not destroy the Iconians. We merely, um, subdued them. And, sure, whatever. Uh, what am I gonna do? Ultra Spices. That might actually give me some more points. And, uh, sure, build me a political capital as well. I don't really care. And Galactic Accelerators. Why not? Happiness creator. I don't like the term happiness creator, to be honest. Okay, and uh, just um, get busy. I'll just no. I'll um, build a manufacturing industrial sector, and I'll uh, I'll just buy that. Uh, certainly, the technology is all right. Uh, good, I guess. Yeah, once you max out your um, influence uh, capabilities, you're, you can create a single star base that can push well over 300 influence. It's quite ridiculous. Okay, looks like we'll be grabbing another planet. And tidal disruptors go and attack. And win, barely, but we win. And uh, that's advanced railguns. I'm sure that's good. And, hmm, that's actually a nice research world. Would have been, had we conquered that earlier. Harvester, that's pretty rare. Blah de blah de blah. Where's tiny thermal effect? Yeah, it's pretty much a farm. <laughs> Just say it. It's a farm, nothing more, nothing less. Right, um, what am I going to do with this place? Notice that I don't encounter factories. It probably means that uh, the Torians have their own tech for that, and uh, well, it's not compatible with mine. And I'm buying stuff for 
worlds which are never gonna fully develop. How oh, silly. Ah, ah, right. So the last um, Iconian world decides to uh, give up. That means the Iconians are now... Well, that actually works for me, because this planet is still very much being influenced, bombed to death. So it's only a matter of time. But in this case, it's um, now it's a Torian world. You know, tomatoes, tomatoes, really. Alrighty, um, let's, um, let's see, that leaves the Torians with two worlds, I think. Let's see if they still want to talk to us. Three. Let's zoom out, let's have a look. Right, three. Today's this one and these two. Works for me. So, um, let's see if we got one of these slacking war fleets here, which are auto attacking, and, uh, send them off to do some decent work, you know. There we go. And you can go there. And now we start throwing the turns, and... Ah! And Andersonia rebelled. That's nice. You can do absolutely nothing. Alrighty. That's, uh, that's pretty much as high as it'll go, really. I think maybe one or two more modules, I'm not sure. I don't really care. There we go. Yep, even more. Which there is absolutely no point to. Right, so this is a maxed out influence star base. Pretty damn impressive. And, uh, yeah, sure, let's research them. The tech tree. And now we just ditch it. Because it's done its job. And you can go there. I don't know, it doesn't really matter anymore. Right, um, that's troop transports. That you can go here. And wow, I keep forgetting how fast those things are on their own. And you can go there. And you three are rather close, so you can go there. You on your in your onesies can go there. All right, last two worlds, guys, nearly done. And I really don't, can't be bothered. I'm not gonna manually order my ships anymore. Just gonna send them in and uh, get these two worlds, and then it's done. Alright, let's see. Well defended world. Now it's gonna be a well undefended world. And it looks like I grabbed the planet which had their orbital command center as well. Probably didn't, I didn't even notice. Now we just have to go through all the defenders one by one by one, and then it's gonna be done. Last night planet. How many are left? Damn, out of moves. Out of ships! Even better. And we'll grab that next turn. Looks like, yeah, next turn. Bloody hell. Right, let's just clear up. Clear it over here. Just deal with the last of the turns. They're attacking me? Or oh, that looks like it. There's a sign of desperation. Oh, they're out of attacking me. Right. Hmm. You can just keep discovering new things all the time. There's a whole lot of stuff. Good, cool interface stuff you can do. But it's not really necessary for you to know all of it. Let's just go with information warfare. Let's keep a couple of Torians alive. They won't be able to see them, but they'll be there. And that's universities. Sure. Right, whatever. I'm not gonna bother with you. One truth transfer left. Go figure. You can go there. And you need to turn. Yeah, and we're gonna bomb you. Core detonation, go. 
they don't stand a chance. <laughs> and there we are. And that, my friends, is the last of the Torian worlds. It's the last of our enemies' worlds. Which means... That we're gonna skip this movie, and this screen, and all this. And we're gonna zoom out and admire the little empire we built here. And press turn for the last time. And see our little skips flying around, twirling like ants. <laughs> yeah. There we go! A truly remarkable diplomatic victory. That's because uh, we had two allies. Bloody ah! I'll just read this out loud. How about that? Our civilization has, true, has achieved a truly remarkable diplomatic victory. Through a series of treaties, the entire galaxy is now united in a peaceful way. Who knows what great things the United Galaxy can achieve? Congratulations for a great victory for your people and the rest of the galaxy. Right! Victory. Uh, let's see. Well, society points. Yeah, did pretty well. Tech points. Everyone. Well, we had everyone beat. Which isn't too surprising because we got big really quick. Tech. Oh boy. Yeah, it looks like only the Torians were a serious compatible competitors. Alright, tech stolen. 13 is because we did quite a bit of invading. Most productive research. Amber. Nice. Technological score. Military. 382 ships. Your actually produced the same amount of ships, but looks like they just went for heavy fighters. And the Torians went for frigates at some point, but too late. Soldiers killed. Considerably less. And Drenjin. When we attacked them, they basically said, No, to hell with this, we can't win. <laughs> and they surrendered to me. And they were the only ones who surrendered to me, by the way, but they were rather big for surrendering. Economics. Let's see. Well, we did well in that department. Thalans didn't. Well, not surprising because they had few worlds. Alright. Social. Most populous planet, Korra. Korra? Really? Huh. Happiest planet was Cairo. Society score, not bad. Timeline. Ah, oh, you can just see here. It's this some um, this point we decided let's go to war and boom. Population. Steady increase. Bit lower here. That's when we started sending sort troop transport ships. And then just a uh, steady rise. Research. Yeah, you can uh, see some dips in there when and influence. Well, I guess that's it. I'd like to thank you all for watching this Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I know that's a cliche, but this is actually my first Let's Play ever. So this was all new for me. And uh, I will definitely be doing more Let's Plays. And I hope you'll, uh, you'll enjoy those as well. So, goodbye for now.